Okay, so good day. Uh, this is my first lesson for this quarter, so be geometric terms and notations. So names, saka kung ano sila. So ano yung, kaya, ano yung in-expect nating matutunan ngayon? Uh, babalikan natin yung mga terms siguro na na-introduce na nung possibly grade 7, grade 8. So to see points, lines, segments, rays, angles, at triangles. And ilalabas din natin kung anong klaseng notations yung gagamitin natin sa pagpangalan at sa pag-label dun sa geometric figures natin. Start with a point, yung basic. So, a point it is used to denote the position in yung space natin. So, when you say space, pwede siyang three-dimensional space. Pwede yung Cartesian plane, kung saan tayo basically nag-work. Uh, so, we illustrate points with a dot, like itong blue tsaka yung red na nandito. It is zero-dimensional, meaning hindi natin siya pwedeng sukatin kasi hindi natin alam kung anong direction siya susukatin. Wala siyang length, wala siyang width, wala siyang depth or uh, whatever. And imagine kung isa kang point, tas na-try mong gumala, wala kang gagalawan kasi walang up, down, left, right, in and out dun sa perspective ng isang tao or isang creature na nasa loob, na nasa ibabaw ng isang point. Yung pagpangalan natin sa kanya, gumagamit tayo usually ng capital letters, yung sulat natin sa proximity ng point, proximity ng point natin. And in a Cartesian plane, pag naglagay tayo doon ng point, pwede rin natin gamitin yung coordinates niya sa Cartesian plane para bigyan siya ng pangalan. So here, pwede natin siyang tawagin point C to 1. So kinukombine natin yung capital letters at yung coordinates. Or minsan, pwede yung coordinates lang pag hindi naman kailangan talaga ng sarili niyang pangalan. Next, line segment. So, let's say we have two points, no? Point A, baba ko nga yung mukha ko. Point A and B. If we take all the points between these two given endpoints, then we'll have a line segment. So, ito, we took some points or a bunch of points between these two endpoints. Line segment na ba to? Well, in a plane, in a Cartesian plane, hindi. Kasi we want to add yung condition na dapat it's the shortest distance possible between those two points. Yung all the points in the shortest distance possible. So ayaw natin to. Ito yung tatanggapin natin as a line segment. It is one dimensional, meaning pwede mo siyang sukatin but in one direction only. And that's along the, the line segment. And para bigyan siya ng pangalan, ginagamit natin yung points sa magkabilang dulo, yung end points. So we call this line segment AB, sulat natin A and B magkatabi, tapos meron tayong mixing line segment representation dun sa taas ng dalawang point. Kailangan ko mahanapan ng placing yung mukha ko. Sa Cartesian plane, we usually assign names to the endpoints uh, of a line segment, meaning... Sabi natin kanina, pwedeng yung point walang pangalan, nalagay lang natin yung coordinate, pero kung nasa Cartesian plane yung line segment, it makes sense no? na bigyan natin ng pangalan yung point dun sa magkabilang dulo. Para mabigyan natin ng pangalan si line segment. So may point tayo sa 1, 1. May point tayo sa 4, 2. Bigyan natin ng pangalan C yung nasa 1, 1. D yung nasa 4, 2. Para pwede natin identify to as line segment CD. Next, line naman. So, balik tayo dun sa line segment AB natin. And imagine natin na hindi tayo nag end sa AB. Extend tayo infinitely past the two endpoints. So, we represent na lang natin yung extension infinitely past with arrowheads. So, yung line natin kanina, this one, line AB, marami tayong points. Actually, infinite yung number of points on this line. So if we have other points on that line, let's say may point C, may point E, may point D, para masabi nating line siya, kailangan yung any two points dun sa line natin yun, connected siya in the shortest possible way. Kumbaga, yung C, A line segment yan, C, E line segment yan, C, D line segment yan. Hindi siya pagano'n-ganon. It is also one-dimensional. You can only measure it along the, along the direction of your line. And we could use any two distinct points so para pangalanan yung line natin. 
So, yung una nating points ay AB. So, pwede natin siyang tawagin line AB. But, may, mayroon pa tayong ibang points na may pangalan sa line na yun. So, pwede natin silang gamitin. So, line AB, it's the same as line CD. It's the same as line EA. So, pwede pabaliktad yung basa natin. It's the same as line BD, kahit magkalapit sila. We could also use lowercase italics, le italicized letters to name our line. So, minsan, pwede natin itong tawaging line L pag hindi convenient gumamit ng capital point. So, depende na lang sa context. Itignan na lang natin yung context ng, ng problem or situation na ginagamit natin yung line. And in the Cartesian plane, uh, you've learned this in grade 8, pwede natin siyempre gamitin yung equation ng line para i-identify siya. So, in this case, this is the line y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 third. Meron tayong y intercept na 1 third and yung slope niya ay 2 thirds. So if you will look at our points, 1, 1, mag-run tayo ng 3. Papunta sa 4, 3, mag-arise tayo ng 2. Give us the slope. Next, race naman. We can imagine this as siguro parang kalahati ng isang linya. Pero hindi yun precise eh, na definition. It's a geometric figure na parang line, pero may terminator, may, may point kung saan siya natatapos. And yung, pero yung kabilang side ng line natin, yung ray, it goes on and on. So we also have uh, an arrowhead to represent na hindi siya nag end in this side of our ray. Yung end point, yung point na, na kinaduduluhan ng vertex natin, Tinatawag natin siya formally as a vertex. It's also one-dimensional, parang line segment and yung line natin. And we will name another point in the ray. So here, we have point B. Para mabigyan natin ng pangalan yung ating ray. And we use yung vertex and yung second point natin para bigyan siya ng pangalan. Meron tayong ganitong symbol, parang ray din, sa taas ng AB. Ang important lang dito is that yung side kung nasan yung vertex yun din dapat yung point yung letter na nagko-correspond sa point nung vertex nung ray natin next angles these are basically two rays that share that share the same vertex so may ray tayo dito na ang vertex ay b meron tayong second ray na ang vertex ay b i-combine natin sila i-join natin sila dun sa vertex then we have uh, geometrically, an angle. Ang measurements sa angle natin, I'm not sure if you've encountered this before, pero ginagamit natin yung tinatawag na radians, unit na radians. Pwede rin degrees. You use degrees more sa physics, but in math, mas ginagamit natin yung radians. And that is the length of the arc na kinakat nung angle natin. So ito, yung length nito part na to, if we have a unit circle, a unit circle is a circle na may radius na 1 na naka-center dun sa vertex. So, ano ba ang circumference ng, ng circle na may radius na 1? It's 2 pi r, but r is 1, so the radius is 2 pi. So, if your angle is 360 degrees, meaning isang buong circle, then it is 2 pi radians. But this angle is not Siyempre, it's not a whole 360 degrees. So, itong portion na to is, it's just a fraction of 2 pi radians. So, kung anuman yung length niya, basta itong buong circle na to ay 2 pi, then yun yung measurement natin sa angle na to using the radians unit. We use a point on the first ray, the vertex, and a point on the second ray para bigyan ng pangalan yung angle natin. So we could call this angle A, B, C. Now, if there is no ambiguity kung saan mag, uh, saan mag kung anong angle yung pinag-uusapan natin. Like, for example, kung meron akong isa pang ray dito, di, I could be talking about this angle or this angle. But here, in this case, isolated yung angle natin. Pwede natin tawagin na lang siya with the vertex angle B. Sometimes, lowercase Greek letters are also used to name angles or to denote uh, yung measurement ng angles natin. So, let's go to triangles. Oops. 
a triangle is formed by three non-collinear points connected by line segments. So we have three points that do not lie on the same line. Now, I'm sorry when I made this GCQ pa. Apparently, ngayon, now that I'm recording this, bukas MECQ na ulit. So, kailangan hindi sila nag on the same line. Then, co-connect natin sila with line segments. Then, we have our formal definition ng triangle. And this is right now beyond our scope. Kung ba paano natin ipapakita na totoo to. But the sum of the angles in a plane, they add up to 180 degrees. There are some situations where you may have a triangle na hindi 180 degrees yung sum. Like, for example, if you're measuring distance in a globe, dahil hindi siya flat na surface, hindi siya plane, hindi 180 degrees yung measurement niya. But now, in our class, we're only talking about uh, triangles in a plane. So the angles will add up to 180 degrees. We use the three vertices of our triangle to name a triangle. So we could call this triangle GCQ. Pwede rin triangle QCG. So may triangle sa start to denote na triangle siya. Or triangle CGQ. Kasi important to. Kasi pwede rin natin sabing angle CGQ. Hindi natin sinasama tong line segment na to. And that's it. Uh, that's for our introduction of uh, geometric terms. Let's recap our lesson. Bumalik tayo at recall natin yung mga terms that we may have encountered before. And review natin paano bigyan ng pangalan yung mga objects na to. Sa next uh, video, we will be measuring the distance between two points. And we'll be finding the midpoint of two points of a line segment. So I'll see you again sa next session natin. Thank you guys.